Hey everyone, welcome back to another video and today we're going to take a look at all the different settings on our Nintendo DSi after we successfully installed custom firmware. And if you recently used my video to hack your DSi, thank you so much for watching. And if you haven't already watched it and you're looking to hack your DSi, I will have that video in the description down below. And by that I mean the link. And so this is very exciting to go through all the different settings and there's so many different settings and uh, hopefully you'll find this video helpful and that way you can navigate through your system more efficiently and track down something you're looking for and myself included so this is going to be very helpful for a lot of you and uh, in another video I will discuss how to get rid of some of these uh, folders that we don't need and go through the process of organizing everything properly so once you're in the twilight menu and you can press select and this will bring up the select menu so you can go to your DSI menu to the twilight uh, menu settings then you can go to the card that's inserted so let me grab my Pokemon game real quick so if you do have hard copy games and you're trying to access them this will be the place to do it so we scroll down and press A and that should start the game and it's working just fine and my saved game should be there perfect there it is my 16 badges and 52 Pokemon so if you did copy over your game using a wood dumper your save state would be intact and I will have another video on how to extract your save games your save states onto your SD card that way you don't have to uh, depend on the game card every single time so let's go back moving on to the settings we're gonna press select again and go to the twilight menu settings and here we can change all sorts of different things here's the GUI settings and we can change our frame rates to 60 frames or 50 the options are from 15 to 60 so 15 20 24 30 50 and 60 down we have the DS classic menu on startup the menu that is shown by pressing select in the Nintendo DSi theme can be shown before the ROM select menu so this is a different option that we can have to have that uh, classic menu pop up but I just have it on no just because I really don't see a use for it down for the DSi Saturn select option we have two different selections we have the DS classic menu and the select menu I currently have the select menu just because I don't want to go through the classic menu and just go straight into the settings and not bother with the uh, classic uh, menu there which I'll show you so I'll just change that to DS classic menu and here we have different themes we have the regular Nintendo DSi theme we have the Nintendo 3DS theme so let's choose that and let's go back and it should change right away so you can see we have a different interface a lot cleaner way better than the standard DSi menu selection that is so cool on the top there the uh, nice little animation and you can choose some of these different settings like the uh, question mark will take you to the manual and this will help you navigate through the menu which is pretty simple let's go back by pressing start to close the manual alright so the next option we have the Game Boy Advance BIOS and this little button here will open up the game cartridge that's installed so let's press that and this should start up the game that's currently in your game slot one There it is, Pokemon. So let's go back. And if you're not familiar with the DSi, all you have to do is just press the power button once to go back to the main menu, which is very convenient. And it doesn't turn your system off. Now this button here on the top right hand corner, the little home icon, this will take you to the original DSi menu. So let's press that. And if you're looking for something from the original 
you want to go into your system settings or something like that you can always press that little button and this will take you back home and there we go we're back on our original Nintendo DSi you can see there and obviously you can go back by opening up the app there okay so let's go back to our settings there we go and let's change our theme to the Sega Saturn theme press B this is pretty cool you can see that is pretty awesome pretty cool music very nice and you can press select so we did change the settings to the original classic DS menu and here it is and you can start Pokemon Silver here's another option to start it picto chat all that stuff works good and our settings is going to be this little button down there and you can see we have a different setting so let's change this back to select and we have the homebrew launcher let's check that one out this one's nice we have the bubbles going very clean very good so strange the speakers are are blown <laughs> that's unfortunate let's press select and we have a nice clean select menu let's go back to our settings and you can change the music as well I do have it as a DSi shop you can have it as the regular theme classic or off regular so I have it on DSi shop now let's change this to R4 original let's see what this looks like here's the R4 Evol revolution for DS start GBA 102 game interesting haven't messed around with this option at all let's go back to our settings and I believe that's it right so I'll leave it on the Nintendo 3DS I think that's a lot of fun uh, refer to the SD as SD card or micro SD card I just leave it at SD because I do have an adapter in there and we have the update recently played list yes sort method alphabetical directories folders so you can have those as hidden or show show hidden files show or hide prevent ROM hiding and deletion no box art games covers cached hide non cached so let's do non cached Animated DSi icons, yes. And by pressing the R button or the X, you can change the different windows here. So the next one we have emulation and homebrew settings. And you can see all of the different display Sega Master System and Game Gear ROMs, and the description is going to be up here at the top. Let's go to the Game Boy Advance Runner 2 emulation settings. And for the most part, you shouldn't be changing some of this stuff unless you're, you know, trying to, I don't know, you shouldn't really change a lot of this. It should run no problem for some of your ROMs. Games and app settings. You can see there all sorts of different options crazy and our miss settings we have language color mode regular Wi-Fi LED on we can have it off you can see how it turns on and off and that just conserves battery usage I guess oh, let's see Twilight splash screen we can show that or just hide it so it could just go directly to your your stuff so for the final settings, let's turn this completely off. 
and we're gonna hold the B and A button together and press the home button or I'm sorry the power button and this will take you to another different settings there we go and this is just another way for you to go through some of the different games that you have installed so we have Oregon Trail and we have the photo dojo some of the other stuff that I did have installed and you can access the Nintendo DSi shop let's go to Oregon Trail pressing A and there you go that's a way to access some of the games that you have already installed in your internal memory of the system here that is damn convenient so we press the power button this will take us back to the twilight menu so in order for you to go back to that let's just turn this off completely hold the buttons there we go and you also do have some options in here which I wouldn't really mess with but yeah that is about it for this video guys so hopefully this video was helpful for some of you guys I know I had some questions saying hey how do I access this type of settings or my original games in my internal memory so thank you so much for watching if you have any questions comment down below if you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video in the future. Thank you so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you on the next one.